So every day I take this walk. You know the scene. You've probably seen it in a movie. Or possibly you've been a patient yourself. The long walk down the hallway, through the corridor, to the double doors, and the operating room is on the other side. This one specific day, I will never forget this moment. I was walking down the hallway with a patient that we'll call Johnny for today. Johnny and his mother were here for open heart surgery. So the surgical team and myself went to get Johnny. We were rolling him down the hallway in his crib. Johnny, like a lot of toddlers, was having a complete meltdown. Johnny was terrified. He was scared. He was screaming. He was kicking. He was crying. He was yelling for mom. So as we approach these double doors, Mom gives Johnny her last hugs and kisses and says her last goodbyes. She then hands over Johnny to our operating room staff. The doors close as Johnny is kicking and screaming and yelling for mom, and the doors close. Johnny's mom collapsed on the floor. She was lifeless. So I walked over to Johnny's mom. I put my arm around her. I helped her get up off the floor. We then walk down the hallway to the waiting area, which is where our families wait. We have a phenomenal receptionist team that works there, and, and they help comfort our families. They help them during this very, very scary time in their lives. But that doesn't make it any better that Johnny's mom is gonna sit in this waiting area for eight to 10 hours while her child has major heart surgery. Those eight to 10 hours while we try to communicate as much as possible, it's gonna feel like a black hole to Johnny's mom. Johnny's mom has no idea what the operating room looks like, what the sounds are, who the people are that are taking care of her child, and most importantly, that Johnny probably stopped crying immediately as soon as those doors shut. I'm a perfusionist here at Nationwide Children's Hospital, which means that I get to work in open heart surgery. I run the heart-lung bypass machine, and I'm able to help keep the heart still so that the surgeon can operate on your heart. And as a perfusionist, I get to see what happens on the other side of those doors. I get to see that as soon as those doors shut, Johnny is likely not crying anymore. We have a lot of tricks up our sleeves and, and a lot of ways that we can have fun with the kids. We can turn the rubber gloves into balloons. We play with stethoscopes. We even have the ability to digitally call cartoon characters. And typically the children are calm, they're having a good time, and most of them are laughing and relaxed. But Johnny's mom is still sitting out in the black hole and has no idea that her child is calm. I'm also the C uh, cardiothoracic surgery quality and safety officer here at Nationwide Children's Hospital. And as a mother myself, I couldn't get past the thought of Johnny's mom on the floor feeling like she was in a black hole and disconnected from her child. I couldn't get past that. So we constantly tried to figure out a better way. There has to be a way that we can help our families feel connected with their children and like they're part of the surgical process. In this process to find a solution, I actually read a book that's titled, If Disney Ran Your Hospital, Nine and a Half Things That You Would Do Differently. The concept and the overall theme of this book is, is that our patients are not only here for good clinical outcomes, which we all know is very important. And we're so blessed to work at such an incredible institution and at a heart center that has great clinical outcomes. But we also know that there is a lot more to their experience than just their clinical outcome. We want, from the moment that our, our families walk in, the, walk in the hospital until they leave and are discharged, that every experience that they have is a positive one and that they feel connected to their child and part of their healthcare process. In this process, we decided that we wanted our families to feel like they were going on a journey with us through surgery in a way that's safe and protective and appropriate. But we want Johnny's mom to feel like she can hold Johnny's hand and walk with him when Johnny goes to sleep. And she can walk with Johnny as he's having surgery. And most importantly, she can be there with Johnny when Johnny wakes up. We partnered with a company called Ease and it stands for Easy Access for Surgical Events. This company 
partnered along with us, we came up with some interventions and some ways that we can improve this communication. With this app, you can download this on any smart device, and it connects you directly to the operating room. We're able to send text messages, pictures, and videos from the operating room directly out to Johnny's mom at the, her fingertips on her mobile device. An example of an update that we send is the first one that's up on the screen. And the text that accompanies this picture says, Madison is safely off to sleep and doing very well. We then send updates to our families immediately as soon as the child is calm, when they go to sleep. We send them a video when we do the imaging of their heart so they can actually see what we're working to repair. We then send an update when we start the surgery, when we start the repair, when we complete the repair, and then the most exciting part is the video that we send at the end. Uh, now we have the task of getting everything dried up. It'll probably be about an hour before I'm out to talk to you, but everything's going very, very well. So as you can imagine, the sigh of relief that would come over Johnny's mom. Johnny's mom just got to see the heart surgeon that saved her child's life. She got to hear him directly say that everything's going well. And then she had an idea of about how long it would be until she got to communicate with him. And this is exactly what we're talking about, about bringing our family on a journey with us so they feel connected to their child. The most exciting part about this has really been the family feedback. Before we started on this endeavor, we surveyed our families to see how, how is your experience and, and are there things that we can do better? And our baseline satisfaction rate for cardiothoracic surgery came back at 80%, which we were ecstatic about. But again, we can always do better and we can always make our family feel more connected. So since the use of this mobile technology and this application, our satisfaction rate in CT surgery has been at 97% and has sustained there. However, this is really exciting to have this great survey feedback, but the even more exciting part is a story that I want to share with you of a family. When we originally uh, piloted this study or this application, we piloted this in a smaller group because we wanted to make sure that it was safe and effective and that it would work well. So one group that it was not provided to were patients that were in-house. So one particular day, I went up with a surgical team to get a patient that was in the hospital. And as we approached the ICU room, the mom is standing there with her phone handed out with the access code, shaking it at us, saying, I'm ready to connect my phone. I'm ready to use the app. So as we approached uh, the family, our surgical team sort of started scrambling to try to look for the consent form. And we hadn't had this issue in the past. And we hadn't lost consent forms previously. And our process was working well. So we started digging through the chart to try to find their consent form. I finally approached mom and I apologized and I said, I am so sorry, but we can't find your consent form, so I'm gonna to have to have you re-sign uh, to enroll in this program. So mom says, I am so sorry, I actually never got consented for this. I was actually in the waiting room last night and a couple families that had just had surgery last, ne last week were telling us how excited they were that they got to use this app on their phones and they got pictures and videos of their surgeon and I wanna be part of this. This is our third time having surgery and we really wanna be part of this. So thankfully we were able to allow mom to have access uh, to this application during this but this is the most outstanding part about this is just seeing that Families are talking to other families and sharing about how this has truly impacted their experiences. One quote that I do want to share with you as I conclude is from a family whose child had actually been through surgery here. Uh, this was their third time through surgery, and this was their feedback after using Ease. We enjoyed the updates since our baby is so young and has had such a serious surgery. It made us feel like we are part of it and involved in the process. It helped ease our anxiety throughout the process. We would recommend it to any parent or loved one with someone in surgery. This Ease app was launched in cardiothoracic surgery at Nationwide Children's Hospital. We have now expanded this to our cath labs and other surgical lines. And it is my hope that while we know that that walk down that long hallway to those double doors is never gonna be fearless, we hope that by taking our family on this journey with us and allowing them to feel connected to their child, that it will be a little bit less scary.
Thank you.